In this chapter, we're going to be discussing creating functions in Python. In this lesson, all I'm going to be doing is providing you with a definition of what a function is and some reasons why we want to write functions or create functions in our programs. Let's start with the definition first. A function is a piece of source code separate from the larger program that performs a specific task. So when we define a function, we're defining it in a separate area than the rest of our program, and we're defining it because we wanted to do something specific, such as square a number or count the letters in a string, although we have functions for that, some sort of specific task. So what are the reasons why we want to use functions in our program? Well, the first reason is to reduce complex tasks into simpler tasks. And by that, I mean that if we have a 5,000 line program that's all just one big large program, that becomes very hard to work with. Whereas if we have a 5,000 line program that's broken up into many functions of 10 to 20 lines each, it's much easier to deal with those individual pieces than it is to try to handle the whole program as one big large ball of code, so to speak. So that's the first reason. The second reason is to eliminate duplicate code. And by duplicate code, I just mean that if, for example, we have a statistics program where we have to sum the squares of a data set, well, we would write a set of instructions, a set of code, to sum the squares. Well, if we're having to do that several places in our program, if we have to constantly rewrite the loop or whatever it is that we do to write the sum of squares, if we have it in our program several places, we have to rewrite it every single time that we need to use it. However, if we create that as a function, then we only have to write the definition of the function once, and then we can reuse that function as many times as we need to in our program. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about eliminate duplicate code. Another reason is code reuse. Once we write a sum of squares function, for example, then we can reuse it in any other program that we have or that we need to write that involves computing the sum of squares. So rather than recreate the definition over and over again in many different programs, we create that function definition once and then we can reuse it as often as we need to. Another reason is to distribute tasks to multiple programmers. If we break our large program up into multiple functions, then each function can be assigned to a different programmer. And if we're working in a large programming shop, that will increase our efficiency. Another reason to write functions is to hide implementation details, also called abstraction. This makes it easier for someone who's reading our program to look at our high-level function calls and then decide whether or not they want to look at the low-level details of how the function was implemented. This makes maintenance of programs easier and also improves the overall quality of your programs. And then our last reason improves the debugging of our programs by improving the traceability of a program. It's much easier to follow a program along either manually or using a debugging tool when you can jump from function to function or from function call to function call. So it's a lot easier to trace the progress of a program by following functions rather than to follow the actual lines of code themselves. So creating functions improves our debugging by allowing us to trace our programs more easily. So those are the reasons why we want to use functions. And I would say that becoming a adequate or good function creator is a very, very important task in programming and something that you should spend a lot of time practicing. The better you are at defining functions, the better of a programmer you're going to be. So with that, we're ready to move on to the next lesson of the chapter where we're going to look at how to define a function in Python.